Greetings from the Black Country guys. As you may well know, I am a scout leader and I'm going on camp this weekend with the kids. So we will be having a lot of activities. We'll be doing swimming, hiking, zip lining, grass sledding, swimming, a lot of other different bits and pieces. But we will also be having some free time. Now, while the kids are having their free time, doing whatever they want to do, roaming around the campsite, reading, etc, etc, us leaders also get some free time. Now, as you guys know, or you may not know, I don't just like coins. I also like writing poetry and I love art. So, I thought something a bit different, I would take you on my pack my art bag with me so my travel pouch is by a company called delphonics now i take this pretty much everywhere with me that's why it's a little bit grubby so it's got pockets on the front so you can put your paintbrushes in the front a little pocket there two pockets there and then on the back it's got more pockets this one has got a little velcro patch on and then inside it has inside pockets and a very big pouch so it is really handy to have now before my, my stand falls over the first thing that you need is a sketchbook obviously so this one is from arteza i love arteza's sketchbooks the paper so thick it takes ink it takes watercolor really well since i'm an ink and watercolor artist that is what i look for in a sketchbook so the arteza sketchbooks they are perfect it comes with a little wallet on the back so if you have any loose papers just stick them in there so that is my sketchbook so firstly I will be taking these pencils. I do not like normal pencils. I like mechanical pencils. They just suit me a lot better. So this one is my Pentel. And it is a 0 0.7 lead. And it is my favourite. It's my favourite pencil. Love it. I will also be taking my Faber-Castell. 0.7 same lead and then I'll be taking my Derwin Preci Derwent Precision 0.5 so this lead is a little bit harder than the 0.7 and a little bit thinner so I've got my three pencils with all the different thicknesses of lead that I will need next Thing I will be taking is a variety of ink pens so this one is a Pentel ink pen and it is a brush pen so it comes with the nib like this and the ink is very black dries very fast and it is my go-to ink pen they come with little cartridges like this you click them in screw it in and you can cover large surfaces with these so it is always a staple in my art bag so next we have the white signal gel pen now I use this just for popping little highlights on and different things. I don't actually use it a lot, but it is useful. I tend to use the Dr. PH white ink. So like it's just like a tub of white ink and you dip your paintbrush in and you use it like that. But for on the go, that's too messy on the go. If I'm just mapping something out of my sketchbook, signal. I then have a uni pin fine liner in a five a two a one and a three so 
they're just different thicknesses all look the same they look like this they have a little nib all in black but as I like to do zentangles, I like to do a different variety of lines from thick to thin. So they're perfect for me. I also have a 0.6 in a Faber-Castell liner. If you can see the difference in the nib, it is quite a chunky boy. This I got from a scroller box which is a, like an art subscription box that I have. So very useful. Always good to try a different liners. Another liner that I am very fond of in the brand is Microns, Pigma Microns. This one is a thick boy. This one is a 0 0.8. So again, get those nice chunky lines. So that is my liners. I'll be also taking a variety of brushes. So we have the Arteza, Arteza liner, which is a nice soft painting brush. Also got a round Windsor and Newton brush, just to cover a little bit more ground along with this Cass Art number four brush. They'll be used if I want to fill any backgrounds in quickly, do some washes, things like that. And then, oh, running off. I've also got this sea white brush. Now this is a new brush, so it's got a nice point on it. And I can use that for nice crisp lines. Now obviously we're going to be going out hiking. So this will come in very handy. It is a travel brush. And it's a travel brush that you keep water in. So basically you put your water in there, put your little stopper in. So that will be filled up with water. Then when you want to use it, you unscrew the top. Don't spill your water. Screw the other half of your paintbrush on. Then you just gently squeeze the barrel here. The water releases down into your brushes and you can use your brush when you're finished you just literally unscrew it pop your top back on and you can travel very very useful if you're doing traveling art so i don't like white erasers they don't pick up any of the graphite on my paper i don't like putty erasers like these like needed the razors, I don't like them, they don't take any of the graphite off my paper. I'm quite heavy handed, so I use these black erasers and I swear by these, they take everything off what I need. Staple in my kit, I love them. I'll also be taking my little round ruler. I like, as I said, I like to do zentangles, so if that gets me my perfect circle shape in a variety of sizes. I'll also be taking my plastic ruler, not my metal ruler, my plastic one, if I want to do any sharp lines. Then I will be taking this. It is a collapsible water cup, so when you're hiking, Pop your water in there, paint away. We're going, throw your water away, literally. You just collapse it and pop it back in. This one is by Faber-Castell and it is great for hiking. I will also be taking some more lead. So I'll be taking two lots of my 0 0.7 lead. And I like to use 2B. I always have. Ever since I read a book by Sarah Manning. It's called Diary of a Crush. Now, I loved that book as a teenager. I lived my life by that book. And the main one of the main characters called Dylan. He was an artist. 
he only drawed with a 2B pencil. So automatically, I picked up that trait and I only draw with a 2B pencil. I'm also taking some red lead to go in my 0.5 mechanical pencil just because when I draw flowers in my sketchbook or on watercolour paper it's just a lot softer and it is easier and kind of dissolves into the watercolour so that is the lead I'll be taking oh I am literally throwing things around today I will also be taking these which are just some little water they are the same size as a change checker card just about so hang on we've got a change checker card here so they're roughly the same size and it is watercolor so it's just easy to do some tiny little sketches pop them on paint them they make great little gifts so I'll be taking those and then finally my travel watercolor kit is this Windsor and Newton set that I'll be taking so flip it up you can tell it's well loved it's just got some basic colors in you can tell which one I use the most out of here I use the Payne's grey the most but I've got a little sponge in there so put some water on that sponge dip 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 wipe off my brush I can use it to clean off this palette if I want to so it's just got your basic colours and you can make any colour you want pretty much from these basics. So it's a perfect staple. But I love this palette. It is a mini version of my actual palette. Which if I get to it, hang on. This is my palette I use every day. This is my travel palette. So you can see the difference in size. If I wanted to, I could take my larger palette. But it is very chunky and the camera is now falling over and we don't want that. So hang on. <coughs> Let me sort you right guys. There we go. We're back up and running. If I open my larger palette so you can see. In comparison, it's got larger wells at the top. Some smaller wells and then it's got lots and lots of colours. So this is, this is the palette I use pretty much every day for painting. This is my travel palette. So you can see the difference in size. I won't need to take all these colours. I'd love to take all these colours with me. But I'm just opting for the small one because I don't know how much time I actually will have to paint or draw. So just in case. We're going for the small one. And it takes up less space as well. So let's pack my bad boy away. And the last thing I'll be taking, just to help me guide out and map out some things if I need to. You're at a tilt now. Let's bring you back down. Is literally, I will just be taking some washi tape. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this slightly chaotic, little bit different video. And hopefully when I come back, I'll have some art to show you. If not, you've seen what I take when I go out and about with my art. I nearly lost you again, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye here and I will see you again next time for some coins maybe some art who knows what you will get on pocket poets channel see you later guys bye